Every once in a while, I like to wake up at five in the morning to take myself on a date to the beach. For 2020, this will probably be the last time I do that though, because it is getting cold outside. <laughs> There's a lot of birds here, but it's kind of cool. Uh, I just think they're trying to kill me. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> this beach that I go to has a lot of memories for me. What are these? <laughs> what is happening right now? Um, the beach that I'm at right now means a lot to me. Um, it's the beach my family used to always go to when I was younger. It's the beach that my best friend works at, so I get to to have some ice cream every time I come here. Um, it's also the beach that I've brought in everyone I've ever dated. <laughs> I always think that it's gonna be like this romantic trip, you know, and that I'm being really vulnerable by showing them a place that means a lot to me. But to everyone I've ever been with hasn't really cared about that. I took this one guy here at the end of our relationship because we were having a bit of issues. And I mean, now I'm glad we're not dating because uh, he's not a great guy. We'll leave it at that. But at the time we were having all these problems and I was blaming myself for them, even though they weren't my fault. Uh, that's just what happens when you're with toxic people. But I took him here because I thought it would fix things. That, that we just needed a little road trip and some more time together and everything was gonna be okay. But then I found out he doesn't even like road trips. Like. <laughs> To me it's wild that anyone can't like road trips. Now I've literally made it a requirement that whoever I date needs to like them because I do this quite frequently. But anyways, the guy that I dated after that, I took him here at the beginning of our relationship because I figured, let's do it the opposite way. Maybe show him this place that matters to me a lot right off the bat, be vulnerable right off the bat. And um, that guy ended up leaving because he didn't see value in me. And I think that was one of the hardest breakups of all because nothing even happened. Nothing went wrong at all. We had a really healthy relationship. And one day he just decided to leave because he didn't think I was worth it. My self-esteem took a big blow. And I mean, since then I've been doing a lot better, but I've even had like, <sighs> I've had every single ex come back to me after we've broken up telling me that they didn't realize how good I was when they had me, that they've met someone that's like me, or that they miss me. And two of those people have come back into my life and I allowed them to temporarily. And both of them want to go on a little trip with me. Both of them want to come to this beach that I've talked about so fondly and I can't do it anymore. This beach is mine. <laughs> and that's part of why I come here at Ungodly hours of the day it's my beach and i'm dating myself on it i i don't want to take any i don't want to take anyone here i honestly do really like dating myself and i feel narcissistic saying it but like for the first time in my life i'm actually falling in love with myself dude i'm underrated like <laughs> i haven't given myself enough credit not just in relationships and how fucking bomb ass of a girlfriend I can be, but like in life too. I just, I just get so wrapped up in everything I'm doing wrong all the time and everything I could do better. I mean, even on the way here, I considered redoing my video because I was looking out the window and I was like, man, I'm disgusting and I haven't cleaned my windshields in like a 
year and everyone's gonna see the bug guts and then I was like ah oh, I could have done this more artistically I could have bought myself flowers yesterday and then brought them along and I started thinking about all the things I wasn't doing instead of the actual thing I was doing and that's fucked so I'm really trying to stop that and I don't know what it is about this beach I think it could be the solitude and the fact that no one is ever here because no one really knows about this beach. But it really does take me out of that mindset, like, a lot. I didn't plan what I was going to say for this video and I don't know if any of this makes sense because I am so tired. But I'm just going to enjoy the beach for the rest of this. Sunrises make me nut.